Over the last several weeks, we witnessed Afghanistan rapidly fall to the Taliban and the chaotic aftermath that followed. This did not have to happen, but the president refused to listen to his own generals and the intelligence community who warned him precisely what would happen when we withdrew. This was an unmitigated disaster of epic proportions. I never thought in my lifetime that I would see an unconditional surrender to the Taliban. For weeks, our offices were flooded with requests to help people get out of Afghanistan, requests that were coming to us because the State Department failed to provide help. And then the unimaginable happened. On August 26, 13 American servicemen and women were brutally murdered by ISIS-K trying to help American citizens and our Afghan partners escape from the Taliban. Two days ago, we commemorated the 20th anniversary of 9-11. And while we mourn the loss of almost 3,000 innocent people, the Taliban at the same time celebrated by raising their flag over the presidential palace. Days before, they emblazoned their flag on the wall of our United States Embassy, proclaiming the defeat of the United States of America.